Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. We're coming to you with Bullet Bourbon. Not much of this left, Bruno. We had to get this film before I drank it all. That's happened. That's happened in the past. It has. It has. I got to tell you, um, I built a little fire pit outside, and this Bullet Bourbon just goes great over ice sitting in front of the fire. Hmm. I mean, I just started draining it down. So... Um, I nope. told them we had to get this reviewed, although we're kind of out of fire pit season. When you look at Bullet Bourbon on the shelf in the liquor store, really about the same price range as, say, Jack Daniels or Jim Beam. I don't even same I don't know. Price I don't range. Jack Daniels in a long $20. Time. What's this bottle? $20 to $25? Man, we bought it so long ago, I don't even remember. I can tell you it's straight bourbon. So Kentucky it's been in straight at least bourbon two whiskey. years. So 45% ABV. And, uh, you know, I got a couple friends that think this is too rough. They don't like this at all. I was surprised, actually. It's the first time I'd had um, the Bullet Bourbon when you gave it uh, to me to, to test and take some notes on. Um, I was pleasantly surprised with it. It wasn't near as harsh as I thought it was. And right there, even the nose coming off of it, it's got a very nice nose to it. It's got that uh, cinnamon sweetness. It's kind of that kind of that standard bourbon: the vanilla, the oak, the cherries, the cinnamon. So I'm having a hard time getting the vanilla. I pick up a strong cinnamon. Yeah, okay. Maybe a little bit of clove. To me, it's got a real nice nose on it. And I don't know something about this bottle. It's grippable. <laughs> okay. The, the way this bottle fits into my hand, it is, I feel like it's 1875 and I'm going out to the fire <laughs> and I'm bringing me some whiskey. I'm, I'm serious with you. When I walk down there, there's something about so it. So you're Maybe saying that this, you can grab this bottle like a man. Yeah, it fits right in the web fits, of your hand. And if you had to. Yeah. If you, or onto, I don't know if I'm doing it that way. Is that what happened to the bottle? But they really, I mean, you've got this, the, the glass even has this molded uh, bullet bourbon logo yeah, in the glass in like, there yeah. yeah and i don't know why it makes it to me it feels like it's western cowboy yeah and i'm sure that's what they're going for but uh when i had this big nice fire going down in the pit i grabbed a a, a glass I grabbed a, a cup full of ice and I gripped this thing and it felt good in my hand and I came up and it was almost gone. And I thought, holy moly. What do you get on the taste? Um, it's, 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 it's a mouthful. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit of alcohol burned to it. It's 45%. Mm -hmm. I'll go right to a little bit of water. Yeah, I had a buddy of mine that said um, he had this with some friends around a campfire and, and they didn't like it at all because um, I offered it to him and he said, oh, God, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he was That's like, probably because he was one doing that. Maybe. Maybe they tried it like that. Um, and I even told him, hey, if it was too much, add some water to it. Cut yeah. it down. Throw mm -hmm. some ice cubes in there. Um, I really, really love this over ice. Um, mm. It's got a great um, brown sugar caramel flavor to it. Uh, sweetness and you're right uh, the uh, cinnamon's really only in the nose it doesn't have that same bite that like a Booker's does right to me it's it it's the standard bourbon taste there's yeah. nothing outstanding to it this is one it's not it's not separating itself from the pack with the other bourbons it's not harsh though it's not bad yeah it's a good bourbon there's just nothing that stands out about it we're going to be reviewing the rye as well, and I will admit, I like the rye a little better. Mm -hmm. By the way, I just noticed it's Frontier Whiskey. So yeah, they're clearly going for that Wild West feel to it. Um, but it's a good, solid whiskey, and when I'm going to be pouring some whiskey over ice sitting around a fire, um, I want this. So, you know, really, just looking at my notes, all I have from when I when I sat down and tasted it that night, and I have in my notes that it's a little harsh neat, which is what I just pointed yeah. out when I tried it. And it is. There's a little bit of that alcohol burn with it. Right. Uh, it's a little harsh. It's not bad. Water, add some water to it and bring it down. But Yeah, bring the water right to where you want it. Throw in the ice. Beautiful, beautiful mm -hmm. bourbon. What do you rate I, it? 
you know, I hate to say if uh, I don't mix my bourbon with Coke, if you did, um, that's probably a good mixing bourbon. Mm. But it's not, it's not yeah. bad meat though yeah. either, but your friend that thought it was harsh. Yeah. Put it in some Coke, yes. I, guess. I guess. Maybe that's what he was doing with it anyway, too. Maybe. It could have been. They could have been. It sounded like they're all a little uninitiated. So. All right. Um, you give it an 86. Mm-hmm. 84. Yeah. I mean, I don't dislike Man, it at all. It's, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm just telling you, it, it was weird. It's, uh, they're, I think I fell prey to the marketing a little bit because this feels like well, it's it, it's a well known. It, I mean, with Jim Beam and with Jack Daniels, um, Bull is known as one of the the mass produced yeah. bourbons. A good solid quality. Um, if I was looking for, if I would needed a bottle of bourbon though for twenty dollars, boom, yeah, I'd buy it. Yeah, it's good stuff. All right. Scotch test dummies. Scotch it, you Scotch gods. Cilantro. Dummies. Dummies.